Don't give up, Mum. You're an officer. Tell me all you can do. What you can do. Butcher! Are you waving at me or are you drowning? You take to the water like a fish with a bicycle. Grab Kulasan! Is that an excuse, Butcher? No, Kulasan! No, Kulasan! Thank you! More! Ray, distance! Keep your pace steady. Other than that, well done. The rest of you, you're not trying hard enough. You've got something to smile about, Butcher? No, Kulasan. If you've got the energy to smile, you've got the energy to give me another couple of lengths. Set to it. But Kulasan. No buts, Gray. You go with him. Make it four. Go on. Go, go, go! Boys and girls, it's not about speed, it's about consistency, stamina, pushing yourselves to the limit. Now, you've got 40 minutes to get yourselves dry and to get onto your bicycles. Well, go on then, go, go, go! Come on! his bike. There's nothing in the rules about running over the line. Nothing in the rules against it, either. Yeah. Result stands. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I always go swimming after I've had an argument. Clears your head. I suppose I must have had quite a lot of rounds because I've got quite good at it. Do you think I'll make the team, Kulasan? That all depends on how much you want to. I want it badly. I want to prove myself. Why is that? I'm small people think they can walk all over me. You? I thought you were Little Miss Dynamite. Really? Can't imagine anyone getting the better of you. You should always fight for what you want. That your philosophy, is it? Yes. If there's no fight, it's not worth having in the first place. Hey, I never thought of you as a romantic. Romantic? Hmm. Now is that romantic? Yeah, I'm fighting for things. That must include Mrs Hicks. What did you say? You're married, aren't you? If your information private, I'm divorced, OK? Curiosity satisfied? Sorry, Kulasan, I didn't realise. Besides, there's only room for one woman in my life. I joined the army. She made a man out of me. <laughs> Looks like there's someone waiting for you. Thanks. OK. Stacy. You've got talent. Don't waste it. Right. No companion tonight, Robert? No, I couldn't find anyone who could stand the pace. 
Papa Colosado? Yeah. Try and get it on the plate and not on the table, Butcher. Sorry. Sorry. Don't use your fingers. Sorry. Would you like me to get your fresh starter? If you won't mind, yes, thank you. Pepper Sand. Of all the people to volunteer, why did you pick a butcher? Well, it was available. The man is a walking disaster area. I don't know what Grace sees in him. I mean, she could have anyone. Uh huh. Fancy your chances, isn't he? She's a CO's driver. And besides, she's got taste. <clears throat> what, butcher? <laughs> He's young, isn't he? And are you trying to say I'm already over the hill? Halfway up it, maybe. So, they've staged this mock execution. They've got this poor bastard tied to a chair, yeah. start bollock naked, and blindfolded. So, he can hear the rifles being cocked, and Smithy does this ready, aim, fire routine. He throws in this firecracker, and bang! You should have seen him jump. Butcher, you stupid prat! I'm sorry, Colossus. You did that deliberately. <laughs> it was an accident, Bob. <laughs> get out my sight, but to just get out my sight. <laughs> do you find this funny, Gray? I said, do you think this is funny, Gray? Oh, come on, Bob, leave it out. Go and get a cloth, Stacy. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So I hear you are up for a commission, Angela. Congratulations, Renata. I decided against it. Why, I thought you were a career girl. It would have meant less time with Chris. Oh, that's so nice. Still, it's funny, isn't it? What's that? Well, how we earned our stripes. Eh? You know, some people, all they have to do is pass a few simple exams. Whereas me, I had to fight, sweat, Blood to get mine in the Falklands, Ireland, Bosnia. You don't know a thing about me. No. So, how did you get yours, Angela? Drive around the M25 without getting lost. Hey, now come on. Look, come and just enjoy the meal, eh? See, it doesn't matter how many women slip into the army. We are still the boys on the front line. We are still the ones getting our balls blown off. So, um, you stick to your pen and clipboard, sweetheart. But lead the fight in to the man. Now, if you'll excuse me. Son. No. I wanted to talk to you. What about? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. It's all right. You're a trier, Stacey. You don't give up easily. I admire that. Thanks. And I don't like to see people waste their lives. What do you mean? Well, you could do much better for yourself than Andy Butcher. I think that's my business, don't you? The 
boy's going nowhere except the doll queue. Happen to like him. And I happen to like you. Cut it, son. Stacy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look, you fancy me. <laughs> I fancy you. What are you on about? <laughs> The way you smile at me, you know. I'm flattered, Sam, but I'm not interested. <laughs> Are you turning me down? <laughs> I've got coffees to serve. Just forget the old conversation, shall we? Stacey, you will do what I tell you to do. Anyone could come in at any minute. Yeah, you're right. Now, no one will disturb us. What are you doing? Let me go! Let me go! No, no! You don't give the orders here, I give the orders! <laughs> See what you made me do? See what you made me do? <laughs> Oh, don't beg, Stacy. Don't beg. I had such high hopes for you. You'd like me. That's why you were asking all these questions. That's why you were so interested. Me and Miss Sheridan were wondering if you're married. That's all. Yes, but you asked the question, so you must be interested. You come near me, and I'll scream. No one's going to hear you. <laughs> See? And if they did, so what? What are you going to say? Your word against mine. Who's going to believe who? A senior NCO with 14 unblemished years or but private, barely out of basic training. Stacy. I'll try. I thought you would. You're a good girl, Stacy. Take off your top. <gasps> Take off your top. No! Don't make me angry.
does not agree with me. So, where did you disappear to then last night? I went for a walk. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I just don't remember very much. I said that's not true. I do remember. I just wish I didn't. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. I expect you know what this is about. I suspect somebody saw us, sir. Who? Myself and Private Gray, sir. Doing what? There's nothing more than a bit of a kiss and a cuddle, sir. You ought to know that Private Gray is making some very serious allegations against you. What allegations, sir? That you sexually assaulted her. What? you say I told you that I just want to save you some pain and humiliation yeah well you should have thought of that last night you think about it you saw the way she looked at me now, that's what's happening in the army now some jumped up little private can have you by the balls. And not when I joined. In those days you see near NCO was God. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? You said you went for a walk. Chris, come on, what am I supposed to do? Brag about it. Hey, I've just got my leg over with the CO's driver. You didn't need to bullshit me. There's a lot of things I don't need to do. And one of them's to justify myself to you. And I've told you what happened. She was all over me. How do I know you're not bullshitting me now? Thanks, Chris. I thought we were mates. Yeah, I thought so too. So you've known me for years, but you're ready to believe some silly little tart. Oh, come on, Bob, I didn't say that. That's what it sounds like. You know me. When we were in Armagh, who did you call to back you up at the roadblock? Who was it who came running? Yeah, you. Yeah, me, me, 101% reliable, you know that. Yeah. She wanted to know if she'd made the triathlon team. Had she? No. I told her her times weren't good enough. So you say she came on to you. I'd had a drink. I was looking for the toilets. Gray grabbed me and took me into the kitchens. No more. Then she pulled me into the larder. She pulled you in? Yes. And you didn't resist? No. Then she started loosening my clothing. Why would she do that? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Is it? She was after a place in the team. She was offering herself to me in order to secure that place. But you'd already told her no. Yes. And she carried on anyway. She had a very persuasive technique. Why didn't she make the team? Look. She didn't make the grade. That's it. That's why she spread the rumors. To get back at me. Humiliate me. 
If she couldn't get into the team one way, she'd try another. If not at all, then she'd destroy me and the team with it. Not even master in your own home. She's got you under the thumb. Me under the of this. Still, at least you've still got your wife. At least you haven't got the whole regiment laughing at you behind your back because she's run off with your best mate. No one was laughing at you. You knew, didn't you, Chris? You knew, and you didn't tell me. Yeah, I knew. Okay, I should have said something I didn't. I just thought of what you did. No! <coughs> should have told me, Chris. Should have told me, Chris. I loved them. I loved her so much. Never hit her, never laid a finger on her, but she still went off and got pregnant by my best mate. Okay, she left you. I mean, thousands of wives leave every day. That does not give you the right to do what you did. Now, you abused your power. You abused the army. She seemed interested. Okay, I read it wrong. That's no bloody excuse. No excuses, Chris. I'm an excuse. An excuse for a self-pitying, whinging, selfish bastard. I know. Even the tarts I go with hate me. I hate myself. Stacy Gray did not deserve what you did to her. No, she didn't. No. Chris. I couldn't let it go. If I kept thinking to myself, why not me? Why, Butcher? What has Butcher got that I haven't got? Like my wife and my best friend. She left me, Chris, but I'm the one who's paying! 
Do you know something? There is always a price. Now you just remember that. I'd like to request a transfer, sir. Why? Personal reasons, sir. Personal reasons, indeed. Your request will be actioned immediately. Sir. <laughs> 